Good morning. Good morning. Good to be in the house of the Lord. I didn't turn it over to the hands of the poor I guess. We're in good hands. Amen. Amen. You know, we, um, we, it comes a time, I think, in everyone's lives where you really have to sit down and think about the things that are going on before us at hand in this world today. And uh, really start thinking about taking things just a little bit more seriously because time really is short. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people truly realize just how short time really is. And that we really don't have a lot of time to get it right. And as I was reading the word yesterday and, 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 and asking the Lord to just give me something to share, he took me to Second Chronicles chapter 7. And this is what the Lord said. He said, the Lord appeared to him at night and he said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. The Second Chronicles chapter 7, verses 12 through 16. And as I was pondering that, I, I, I got to thinking about verse 16, mostly. We all know what the, uh, chapter, uh, uh, verse 14, uh, if my people call by my name and he'll humble himself. We say that, all, we say, we say that so much. I get so tired of hearing it because ain't nobody doing none of it. And it's something that a lot of people, a lot of men and women of faith, quote from the Bible mm -hmm. but don't practice so I paid more attention to it. my focus was on verse 16 where he said I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever you know how many temples we got in this world yes yes. but I love it when he said God talking he said that my name may be there forever he didn't say I'm going to be there forever my name my name may be there forever. But he said, my eyes and my heart will always, regardless, my eyes and my heart are going to always be there because my heart is going to be there. My eyes are going to always be watching you. That's right. But I know you people are going to take my name out. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I said, good Lord, we, 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 he's chosen our temples so that his name may be there forever, but we've, we, we've removed his name. It's not to say that he's not still there because his eyes and his heart is always there. But we removed his name and we start putting our own names on stuff. We don't talk about God's ministry, God, Jesus' ministry. We, we talk about our ministry. We talk about our church. We don't, talk, we don't talk about God's church. We talk about our church. We put more claim on everything that we do than what he's doing through us. We've removed his name and we don't even know it. Yet we act like we're holy than thou. This is your call to worship, something to think about. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's pray. Oh. Ooh, heavenly.
Heavenly Father, I come before you on this day, thanking you and praising you, lifting you up, Almighty God. Yes. What a mighty God we serve. God, look beyond our faults. Yes, Lord. Lord, just keep us grounded and rooted in your word, God. Lord, help us, help the media ministry, Lord, to do better. Jesus, Lord, just anything that's done in your name, let us do it with perfection. Let us do it to the best of our ability, God. Yes, Let us be grounded and rooted in you, O oh God. Lord God, let us be watchful. Yes. Let us be watchful of our surroundings, our coming and our going. Yes. Lord, let us keep you first and foremost. Lord, touch the speaker on today from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Lord, let us hear a word from you, God. Lord, go into the hospitals, the nursing homes, in the prison, God, yes. especially the homes. Touch the sick and the such. Shut in. Lord, touch them like they never been touched before. Heal their bodies, God. Heal them, God. Heal them through diabetes. Heal them through rheumatoid. Yes, Heal Lord. them through any disease that of not of you, oh God. Yes, Lord. Heal them through breast cancer, God. Stage one, two, three, and four. Heal breast cancer, oh God. Heal us yes. through your word, Jesus. This is my prayer. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. This will go on, Satan. You will. We will not be defeated. Satan is a liar. He will not steal my joy. Amen. 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 You know how we do it in our way, well, I'm going to get this joke. I want to dive on into this word, but I think I just need this little laughter right here. And it's never argue with children. A little girl was talking to her teacher about whales. The teacher said it was physically impossible for a whale to swallow a human because even though it was a very large mammal, its throat was very small. The little girl stated that Jonah was swallowed by a whale. <laughs> Irritated, the teacher reiterated that a whale could not swallow a human. It's just physically impossible. All right. So the little girl said, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask Jonah. The teacher asked, what if Jonah went to hell? The little girl replied, then you asked him. <laughs> 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 more of a story. Leave those children alone. <laughs> 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 Amen. 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 <laughs> Let's say it like a man. This, this, this is, is my Bible. Bible. This, this is my God, God. and the word of God, whom I must trust. trust. Amen. Amen. We're going to come out of Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. And as y'all finding that, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Three. Three. Father God, we thank you for your word today, Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask that your word go forth, Lord. I ask that you let your spirit rain down in here today, Heavenly Father, as your word go forth. Decrease me and increase you in the inside of me, Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask you that your words do not go in vain on this day, Heavenly Father. Let us not be only hearers of your word, but do us also. Lord, we ask these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, 
verses 5 and 6. We out there? It reads as thus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your <coughs> path straight. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We all have some trust issues, right? Yes. Amen. I'm going to title this, Who Are You Trusting? Okay. As we look at verse 5, we see two commands. We are told positively to trust in the Lord. Negatively, not to trust in our own understanding. So in other words, if we trust in the Lord, we cannot also depend upon our own ability to understand what God is doing. Amen. Because we also have to be in the will of God. Amen. And you know, relationship with God is the most important relationship we can have today. Amen. But we're going to find out how important it is to be in a relationship with God, young and old. Because I heard pastors say earlier that these days are short. So many people are, we know are dying just around us. Hospitalized, cancer, heart attack. Whatever it is, you know, it's a lot of people that's in our lives that we grew up with are just passing away. So let's take a look at this trust factor. And it's also like in a relationship. So we all have some trust issues. We can live and we can love, but do you trust people like you used to? You can't trust people these days. Even your friends, they just come right up in your face now. They bold today, you know, uh, about their trust thing. Relationships, husband and wives, trust issues. Parents and their children, trust issues. One friend to another, trust issues. Who can you trust? How about your pastor and a member? Trust issues. You can't only really talk to anyone these days. Your trust. We all have trust issues. Who can we trust? God. That's right. Whenever there is a breach in relationship, trust goes away. Okay. Then you have to take those steps to rebuild that relationship, and earn that trust back again. That's a hard thing to do, ain't it? Yes, it is. But who said it was going to be easy? That's right. So then we can lean on our own understanding. That's right. Because we don't know. So that at this point, we have to trust in the Lord. We have to let him lead us like he did Abraham. Abraham wasn't leaning on his own understanding when he was taking Isaac up there, did he? No, he didn't. But God had a ram in the bush, didn't he? Yes, he did. How about Daniel? Had to spend overnights in the lion's den. <coughs> he wasn't leaning on his own understanding. He trusted <coughs> God, didn't he? Yes, he did. So why is it so hard for us to trust in God? <coughs> we trust in God on when we feel like trusting in God. Lord, I'm going to give this to you because I trust you right now. But tomorrow I'm going to give it to my boyfriend, my husband, my wife, my, my kids. I'm going to trust them that they're going to go ahead and do this thing for me. We got to start trusting in the Lord and the Lord only. How about Stephen? He wasn't trusting in his own understanding when he was stoned to death, was he? So what make us think we won't be ridiculed and stepped on and 
They have a different way of throwing stones at you these days. They're not actually picking up no rocks, throwing them at you. But we got trust issues here, y'all. Yes, we do. We trust that we came in here today that those cars was going to get us here, huh? Speeding Amen. on the highway, trying Amen. not to be late. We trust that we would get here, didn't we? Amen. Not knowing that somebody could have messed with our gas tank or some of us parked on the street. That's it. Came in here trusting that these seats was going to hold us, didn't we? Yes. That it wasn't going to fall. We were trusting this music and what happened? It failed. Huh. <laughs> so tell me, you better keep on trusting in the Lord. Amen. That's Amen. where our trust Amen. need to be at. Amen. You know, I'm trusting that if I lean over here, this pulpit ain't going to lean with me and fall <laughs> over. I'm trusting that it won't, that this floor is going to hold me. Amen. But I got to lean on God and let him know that you got me, Lord. I believe and I have faith enough in you that if I fall under your wings of love, Father, you're going to catch me. I'm not going to hit the ground. I might go down a little bit, but you're going to catch me and I'm going to pull myself back up. That's how much trust we got to have in God. Amen. 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 We put too much trust in man. You know, we, we, we trust people on our jobs, and then they lie, they lie, and then we get terminated and everything else. <laughs> Who fault is that? We need to take God everywhere <coughs> we go. That's right. Workplace, wherever you at, we need to trust that God is going to bring us through. Amen? Amen? That's right. Man, these trust issues. Let us look at this word, trust. How about that T? T is for truth. As I said before, God is the only one who is the absolute truth. His word is true. God can do anything. Look at us. A wretch like us. He saved a wretch like us. That's right. God can do anything if we trust in him enough. Amen. Amen. God don't lie. Man lie. People will say, I don't lie no more. You're lying now. <laughs> They'll tell you that in a minute. <laughs> but once God speaks it, it becomes truth. This word, this is the truth. You cannot trust someone that lies. You have to continue to trust in God because he won't lead you astray. Amen? Amen. Or respect, reverence, and honor. Proverbs 3 and 9 means we, it says we are to honor God. You can hardly trust somebody you don't respect. Hmm. Not only must we respect God, we must fear him. <coughs> he is a God to be feared. Yes, he is. We fear man, don't we? Yeah. Huh? We go in our jobs and we gonna be late. We don't get fired. You gonna get fired, but they got stipulations on it. You know, you if you be late one more time, you gonna you gonna be terminated. So what we do? Go to hell and high water trying to get to that job on time, don't we? Yes, we do. We don't fear God enough. We we be late for church. Late for Sunday school, late for Bible study. <laughs> oh, God, don't forgive me. I'm good. They just not getting started. That's what we say. That's it. Oh, I ain't going today. Ain't nothing going to happen. I'll catch them next time. We don't fear God enough, but we let man intimidate us on the daily. We let our friends and our family and our spouses and our even kids right now intimidating their they parents. Amen. We got to put the fear of God back in these people. That's right. Back in our children, back in our homes. <laughs> kids nowadays telling their parents how to run the house because there's no God in it. We're going to go to the you. Understanding, comprehension, <coughs> and complete knowledge of his character and nature. What 
is the nature of God. First John 4 and 8 tell us God is love. God love us unconditionally. We put conditions on how we love, huh? Amen. I love you in case of emergency. That word love, we just use it. We just throw it on out there. Like it's so easy. We don't have a clue what the word means. We can't love people unconditionally. But if you was walking in the way you're supposed to be walking, you, you can love unconditionally. You, we should be able to love everybody, no matter what they are, no matter what religion they are, what, what, however you want to put it, Christianity, whatever it is. We should be able to love. We should be able to love the dirtiest, the nastiest, the smelliest person that we walk up to. But not what we do. Turn our head like we ashamed. I, we don't want them next to us. We can't love people unconditionally. We put conditions on how we gonna love people. So what that say for our, our, Christ, our Christian walk? What you walking in? Cause you ain't walking in love. No man. Mm. We gotta get this love thing together. Amen. <laughs> In Leviticus and Psalms and Revelations, it tells us God is holy. We don't treat God like he holy, do we? A hole somewhere. <laughs> but we don't say holy is thou until Sunday morning or Wednesday night. We don't recognize God like he's in authority at all. Deuteronomy 4 and 24, Hebrews 12 and 29 tells us God is a consuming fire. Yes, it is. If he wanted to, he could swallow us up. But we don't recognize God as a consuming fire. The S in trust, God is sovereign God. God has unlimited power. And authority. He's not limited. God does not need anyone's approval or authority. We can't threaten God like we threaten people, can we? Amen. Oh, mm. We can't bend his arms to get what we want. As the song say, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It's God's time and it's not ours. But we what? We threaten God. Boy, I'm, I'm, God ain't listening to me. I'm not doing nothing. I'm so tired of walking in this walk. Ain't nothing going on. He ain't doing nothing for me. Look what they did. Look what they doing over there. They ain't even in God. They got a new house. <laughs> they don't even go to church. They got a new car. I can't even put no gas in my car. They eating out every day. Best states. They all on Facebook with all kind of food everywhere. But I'm going to church, paying my tithes, and doing everything I can do, and God ain't doing nothing for me. Hmm. Really? But he, he woke your wretched tail up this morning. Yes, didn't he? he just don't. Yes, he did. Can't we give him praise for that? Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Own words. Because if he don't do it, we ain't going to do it either. Mm -hmm. Right, right. God, that's not good enough for me. I need more. Mm -hmm. That T is for timing. God has impeccable timing. Again, like the song say, he's an on-time God. Yes, he is. It's not our time for nothing. Everything is done in God's time. When we wake up in the morning and go to work, God woke us up. Deaf angels could have knocked on any of our doors on this day. Amen. But God saw fit to wake us up this morning. Amen. We need to Thank trust in God more. just a little bit more. We have to wait on God. Sometimes we want God to hurry up and do things and get it done. But when we hurry up 
and ask God to hurry up and do things, and he don't do it. So we step in the way and do it ourselves, and what mess we do? Up. Mess, mess, up. Up. mess it up. Mess it up. That's all we do is mess up things because we're not walking in the will of God. We're not even understanding the will of God. We don't even know the will of God. Why? Because we're not in our words and we don't have a relationship with God like we think we have. Amen. I love God. If you love him that much, then why are you doing some of the things that you're doing? All right. Talking to myself too. I ain't talking to y'all by y'all self. I'm, we got, I, this, this thing is real. And it's just like I heard the brother say, if it don't convict you, you ain't walking right. Amen. If you doing something you're supposed to do and you don't feel that conviction, something ain't, right. something ain't right with you. You ain't walking like you're supposed to be walking. You lean into the left. You ain't trusting in God at all. You lean into your own understanding. I understand what's going on, but I ain't going for it no more. I'm going to do it this way because, God, you're going too slow. What, what understanding do you really have? Huh? Are you really trusting in God? Huh? Do we trust God 100% or do we trust him 70-30? How about 60-40? How about we trust 20% and the 70%, the 80% is just hanging up there. Because we ain't trusting in nothing. We walking on our own, talking on our own. And that's why we can't make that positive deliverance of our word when we're trying to tell somebody how good Jesus is, how good God is to us in our life, what we doing, how we walk. We can't make that positive delivery because we don't have enough trust in this word. In order to get that delivery out there the right way, you have to completely trust That's that right. the Holy Spirit is dwelling within you. Wake up, O oh Holy Spirit, and guide me in the way I should go. Guide my footsteps so I can walk in the right way, it's in the fair. right path, That's because right. I want to go to the left. you telling me to go to the right. It don't work like that. We have to wait on him. He's not a microwave, God. It's in his time. He don't give us everything at, at, at once. If he gave us everything we deserved at one time, or he wanted us to have at one time, we'll mess it up. Amen. We're not faithful. Nah, we're not faithful to God. He faithful to us. <laughs> Stop with me, Lord. I got this. I got it. He faithful to us, isn't he? We some ungrateful, unfaithful creatures. But we still say, I'm gonna wait on you, Lord. I'm waiting on God. He got me. He telling you to go, though, but you're still waiting on him. You ain't trying to move nowhere. I'm going to go when God tell me to go. He been telling you to go. But where your foot planted? Not on holy ground. We done walked a whole lot of grounds, haven't we? Yes, we have. But we don't even walk, we don't even want to walk straight on holy ground. That's why we got so much chaos in our life right now. But we quick to correct somebody that's not in God. But then when your people, I'm saying your Christian people, your family, mess up, we, we want to give them a pass. We don't want to correct them at all. That's the truth. 
But who, where's your trust? Who are you trusting in? We can trust God because he has our best in mind. Even in the midst of trouble, God comes, don't he? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel trapped. Ain't nothing going right in this day. I woke up this morning, my car didn't start. I'm just going to waddle in this whole mess. Things just ain't going right for me. I'm just staying in the house. I'm not going to do nothing. What you trusting in? You done lost your faith. Your faith meeting it came from here. By thanking God when you woke up this morning and went outside and your car didn't start and ain't nothing going right to here. Ain't nothing going right. I'm going to have a pity party this morning. <laughs> we can't do that. We got to put our faith in God. We got to get up and make it away. He make a way for you. You got the buses. You got Uber. You got somebody you can call that you want. Somebody that want to take you somewhere and you don't want to be bothered with them. God sent us everything and everybody that we need. It might not come in the form that we want it, but it's always on time. But we don't answer the call, do we? We must trust in God. We have to trust in God. We have to stop putting our trust in man so much, people. Because man is going to always let us down. We must trust God completely in everything that we do. We got to trust our ideas to God. And we got to be willing to listen, listen to God and be corrected by God. We don't want to be corrected, do we? Because we think we know everything. I got this, Lord. I can handle this by myself right now. I don't need you today. So I'm going to not put this in your box today. I'm going to put it in my pocket and carry it around because I got this. I can handle this today. Oh my God. <laughs> then you're going on about your business and something happened. <laughs> I'm about to call so-and-so, so-and-so. They ain't answering their phone, so you still not trusting God because you didn't put this whole day in your pocket. You got it. You don't need him today. You didn't put God in the box. When do we trust God? <coughs> Sometimes. Because we definitely don't trust him all the time. Because if we did, we wouldn't be in situations that we are in today. That's right. Amen. Sometimes I feel like, man, I'm not getting up going to no church. I don't feel like going today. then why shouldn't you go? You ain't doing nothing else. The cooking can wait. The meals can wait. The television can wait. That's right. But no, we want God to wait. <laughs> I catch you, I catch you next week, Lord. <laughs> but I'm going to trust that you give me everything that I'm trying to do today. But I'm not praising you today. You get no praise today, Lord. Man, we got to get this thing together. It's not a lack of knowledge. We're not even trying to find no knowledge in the Word. We're not trying to understand the Word. And it's there. It's right here. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Your heart got so much callus on it, you can't even get a chisel on it. <laughs> and what does it say? And your heart comes out of your mouth. That's it. Hmm. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. He know what's in there. He know it's dirty. He know you filthy. 
He know everything you're thinking. Yesterday, today, and right now. He know what's going on. Mm -hmm. We ain't trying to trust you, God, not for real. Mm -hmm. I just want this day to go and be over. Because mm -hmm. I ain't trusting you today. Mm. Trust. I got to trust him because I ain't got nothing else to do. Mm. Ain't nothing going my way, no way. I tried everything else, Lord, so I got to try you. That's right. I got to try to stay in your word. We can read every other book that we want to read. But we're going to pick up this book and get no understanding out of it, huh? In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. We don't want our path straight. <laughs> this is our GPS. This is, this is what we living for. This is it right here. But then when the GPS, you, 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 you want to go on a trip, you, you put that on your little window or on your phone or whatever you're doing, and you trust that it's going to take you where you're supposed to go, huh? That's it. But then when that little circle starts spinning around, that isn't out. and now you're lost, <laughs> just like this word, your mind start going weary. I ain't trying to read that, Lord, because you're talking about me right now, so... Let me find something that sounds good to me right now. Oh, the Lord. No. Come, let us say, yeah, I'm going to say that. He'll convict you, won't he? Yes, he will. This right here. We have to trust in God. We, have, we cannot be wise in our own eyes. We can't. Because what are we going to see? Us. We only going to see what we want. <laughs> we see what we want, even when we take these off. Like that lesson a couple weeks ago. Do you see what he see? I don't want to see what he see right now. Because I'm trying to do something else. I'm not trusting in you, Lord, right now. Because I'm trying to do something else. Don't guide my path right now. Because I want to go up the hill there. Where something is going on. I want to put my foot in the mud. I ain't trusting in you right now. Oh, Lord, but let it be a landslide. Help me, Lord. I can't do this by myself. I'm calling on you. <laughs> now you want to trust God. Where is your trust? Our trust must lie in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Where's your trust today? Amen. 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 Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel.